A big day for Kenya as we will be soon seeing the president officially flag off the cargo train. And the cargo train locomotives are just about 50 of them that will be making their way to Nairobi. As you've rightly put it uh, there, Kitili, it will be a trial run come January. Officially, this will be starting. Well, at the moment, the president is yet to arrive, but so far we do know that uh, a number of top-notch dignitaries have already arrived, including the diplomats as well as politicians. So far, we've seen nearly member of parliament, Awiti Bolo, is already here, as well as leaders from the private sector. But really, Kitili, it will be a, a momentous occasion, especially for the business community, which has been grappling with the high costs of doing business. And, of course, it is expected that the coming of the SGR is, will reduce the cost of doing business by about 40%. Well, you might want to know what are the costs currently. I want to bring in Kevin Desai, who sits on the private infrastructure group for the Standard Gauge Railway Consortium, just to pick his mind on why this project will be big for the business community. Many thanks, uh, Mr. Desai, and thank you for joining us. Perhaps um, just talk us through what should the business community expect come the flagging off of the SGR today, the cargo trade? I think it's a, a, a um, game changer within Kenya's um, economic and social transformation. To start with, of course, there are so many key milestones that it'll achieve. First of all, it'll reduce the cost of uh, cargo freight. It'll make it more reliable. It'll take the heavy cargo off the road and that'll promote a great deal of uh, assurance to freight forwarders to transport much larger loads through the Mombasa port. Mm -hmm. This would then also build uh, multiplier effects, the possibilities of uh, industrial sites which are not necessarily too close to towns. They can be remotely situated and they could um, benefit from seeking all the raw material that they require, whether it's across oceans or through inland systems produce it and then ship the products and final produce to the end destination on time. So this, this um, would uh, be a phenomenal engagement in terms of transportation logistics, but also a great deal of reliability in our tourism industry. For instance, we'll see tourists will be able to enjoy reliably two destinations, the coast and safaris, inland safaris, as well as uh, resorts within uh, inland, and then, of course, uh, the benefits of the coast. And, um, of course, uh, where does this put us as a country on the global map in the sense that, um, of course, Kenya is one of the regional hubs in East Africa? Where, what sort of advantage will Kenya get economically out of this? Naturally, in, in infrastructure like this, uh, operates an entire economy because it shows potential to deliver on time, be able to promote the highest level of logistics. But what has also occurred side by side, the development of this railway, is an interest and an enthusiasm and a maturity by our local private sector, our manufacturing sector, to actually engage and supply the high uh, standards of material that's required to build this railway. We've had uh, success in the cement industry where 600,000 tons have been supplied. This has been a combined uh, effort of government and private sector to raise the standards and meet international standards in materials. We've had a little bit of steel. But in the second phase of this railway, we'll have a lot more involvement. We'll have service industries around this railway. We'll have a lot more materials. And this will, in turn, promote industrialization based on high-level infrastructure projects. This was the very intention we had at the very beginning as private sector when we started lobbying for this railway in 2008, that we would have multiplier effects and a phenomenal approach to our industrial capacity based on modern technologies and systems. Many thanks, uh, Mr. Desai. Of course, I know we can further expound this conversation. But uh, let me now bring in uh, Awiti.